at right, least right. have a similar enough move set that like you're gonna feel comfortable enough going into this. And I can give him a season edge against like such different characters. I mean, Snake and Dust are pretty similar, but Dr. Mario, sure, he's a heavy hitter, but he's not quite the same level of like projectile camp one frame projectile user. Right, exactly. And uh, we actually, the the Link player is actually is tag is camp, so we yeah. already know what he's gonna be doing. Nothing and of course, that. I mean, with, with projectile characters, you want to like set up the zone and do all that kind of stuff, right? So it definitely makes sense here. Now it's interesting going with one person whose name is camp, and the other characters who are known for camping is like I think Squad Strike is in a really interesting format that you have to get, get really used to because at least I play a lot of zoners as well, and I feel like when I get like when I lose my first stock, it kind of gives me like, a little extra like zest to kind of like make that comeback. But when you're making like a character switch like that, it kind of throws you off your game, and a lot of zoners play that long game, but right. instead of playing one long game, it's almost like you're playing three shorter games in a like, different way, so that's a lot to adjust to. Oh, yeah. And right now, Peanut is doing a really good job on the Duck Hunt, just keeping the pressure on and already 130 now, 145%. Wow, the Nair yeah. into the can! And he's keeping so fresh, too, so this might as well be like completely like three versus two stocks here, but at least while uh, Ranch Camp has like the similarity of playing like characters similar. I mean, Jackie Peters now gets to fight against another similar character. I mean, at least between Young Link and Toon, like their up B's, like edge guarding style is going to be the same thing. Yeah, even like up B out of shield for all these characters, very similar. Yep. And I mean, I, I think the biggest change in terms of the characters is the fact that Breath of the Wild Link just has, you know, the detonating bomb. But other than that, very similar qualities coming out for all three characters. Totally. I wonder if it will change some like some like the combo follows because at least their floatiness, especially between Young and Toon Link, are very different there. But he seems to be doing fine. And while he is like a little bit behind on this stock percent wise, the fact that he started with sub 40 and he's keeping up this close, he's almost laughing at this point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And right, right now it just looks like Tina is so comfortable. I like the DI there on the uh, the first um, play pigeon mm -hmm. uh, because if, if, when you get two chained up, you can start going into like, up smash or up air. It can get really nasty and it's a ton of damage. Yeah. So definitely, you, sometimes you just want to like DI up and in just to kind of like mess up the duck hunt follow up. Yeah. In terms of now, also character order is a big thing we have to consider here in Squad Strike as well. So I like that the Link is like kind of positioned. Link's probably going to fight Snake here, who I say is probably the best of those three characters to take on Snake. Yeah. But if he gets on the dock, I actually feel like Young or Toon Link would have had the best time against Dock in particular. So that could really help up Peanuts there in the long game. Oh, for sure. And I mean, just the play order and I mean, matchups are such a big deal in this game, right? So yeah. just, just like. The, I've seen the orders change throughout a squad strike set, and that's really fun to like kind of see the interactions between the players trying to read. You know, it, it's almost like Pokemon Stadium, or you know what I mean, when you're yeah. picking the characters at random or whatnot. So, really cool stuff. But right now, Peanuts finally the Duck Hunt will fall, and the Snake comes out. Mm -hmm. And it makes you think, like, going into game two, if you're trying to think about your character order and what you could have done differently, I feel like Jackie Venus is just going to stick with Duck Hunt going into that, because why mess with what's good? Because, I mean, if he had more health, he could have taken out lane two, I feel like. Right, and the characters are so similar. I feel like, oh, the directional arrow, okay, he still makes it back here. And the up tilt on the road, that is going to do it in. And I, I just feel like the Duck Hunt really was successful against all the characters. And like we've been pointing out the whole time, I mean, Camp's team is so similar in terms of characters mm -hmm. that if your Duck Hunt did well versus the Toon Link or the Young Link, probably going to do pretty well versus Breath of Wild Link, right? So. Exactly. And it's interesting that, like, of the campy characters versus the campy characters, like, Duck Hunt in particular has so many different kind of wall options to take out the arrows, the boomerangs, the bombs, everything like that. Right. You have your wild gummit in front of you, you have a cannon in front of you. The fact that there's all these just, like, living hurt boxes that can kind of take that in, it's going to keep you safer in the long run, which is almost like one of those zoners that beats other zoners, which, I mean, when you're playing against a team of three different zoners, he's going to beat all of them then. Yeah, it's going to be really strong. Very similar to, like, even, like, villagers setting up the Lloyd. It's like yeah. you're throwing out projectile pressure that also eats up other projectiles. So it's just, it's going to be really strong. And yeah, like I, I just don't see Duck Hunt not being first because it's just, oh, wait. Oh, I guess okay. he just wants to show off the dock. Yeah, might as well. If you're going to get your chance here on the main stage, show it off. Yeah, and I mean, Doc did get buffed. He is uh, oh, yes. one of the characters that got buffed. And um, I know some people didn't think the last patch was too impactful, but I actually thought it was a very impactful patch. Yeah. Um, they changed the one of the, uh, uh, the base mechanics, which is the shield. A lot of characters' shield got bigger. And even uh, characters like Doc, um, they definitely, and the way they balance him too, I like it. They just made his strengths even stronger. So mm -hmm. he still keeps that like character identity of Doc. Oh, for sure. Now, remind us at home, do you remember exactly like, what kind of moves were changed of Doc that we can like look out for in this match? Or is it just like his overall strength in general that we can like, uh, They just definitely, look out for? Uh, they um, made down tilt easier to follow up off of. Okay. So you can like down tilt down B or down tilt up B, yeah. kill people at like 50, 60. 
And uh, I, I, I know they did one other thing, one or two other things, but the down tilt one was like the big that's one. That's huge. Yeah. But in order to get that down tilt, he needs to get past the zoner. So that's like a little bit of a slower speed. That's why I thought that like of the matchups, especially like the two faster links here, that's why I was worried about Doc. But he's already showing no problem at all here. Yeah. Okay. Gets the jab. And I, I like that too. He kind of covered the jab block as well. And Porter, wow. Oh. That's actually pretty. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Grape follow up there into the up B. What a strong hit. Like, you would usually think seeing this character, like, a lot of, like, four air conversions, but no. In this game, you go for that strong hit up B, and it kills an insane percent. Like, you thought Luigi was the brother there. Once he gets the PhD, though, he's the one taking the up B kills. Oh, yeah, for sure. And the thing is that that's really great is it still comes out frame three, so it's really quick out of shield, just like Mario's, but it just, instead of, like, just for a damage tool out of shield, you can just use it for killing out of shield, which oh, is yeah. so good in this game. Not a lot of characters can kill out of shield like that. Ooh, saves the double jump. I like, I like that. that. Yeah. And then also using an air dodge there to recover up, like recover there. I feel like the up B would have been like a little bit predictable there. And he might have still had like not able to grab the ledge in time. So Link with all his projectiles could have covered it. But like just good presence of mind saving the double jump and then recovering with a little different option than he was before. Keeps him super safe in this match. He might be not even showing up his other his snake at all in this whole match. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jackie Peanuts right now really just doing the work on Dr. Mario. Gets the air dodge, gets the grab, not going into the down B though, but the fair, the wide, the the right swing, man, gonna take it home here Comes for Jackie. Down. 